Good morning guys from Valier, Montana and it was a great night here in this uh, campground on the shores of Lake Francis. So guys last night a few people were pulling into the campground and keep in mind it is the uh, Friday before Independence Day weekend. Last night was Thursday but something's going on here and I've seen it in other places and I actually know it's kind of a uh, frowned upon and you'll get tickets for uh, doing it some places but they've always referred to it as ghost camping and what it is is when you drop your RV off at a campsite before the holiday weekend just to occupy the site and ensure you have the space so there's the one right here and then there's a Denali fifth wheel right over here and there's a few others down the way. So I thought that'd be a great talking point for today's video. Ghost camping, do you do it or do you despise it? So this can also spur a uh, conversation about the reservation system. There's a couple websites, I think uh, Reserve America and maybe recreation.org, but this campground is not part of that system. So it is first come, first serve. So I do get it, you know, if you wanna ensure that you know, your family's gonna have a place to hang out for the weekend. It's well worth paying the extra uh, 20 bucks a night for uh, one or two nights before the actual holiday. So you do have a place. But at the same time, it's first come first serve. So it's kind of cheating the system. So I get it for the sake of wanting to uh, make sure you have a place to go with your family. Totally get that. But at the same time, it is definitely a little on the scandalous side. Now I'm kind of familiar with the topic of ghost camping because out in Glamis, it's kind of like the sand dune toy off-road capital in uh, Southern California and it's uh, not really like an organized camping area. There's just like these pads where everybody parks. Well, people will drive out before the holiday weekends like Thanksgiving, New Year's and whatnot and just leave their uh, rigs out there for several days and the BLM Rangers actually ticket people and it's highly frowned upon. But, you know, here it just seems to be part of life and I thought it'd be a great thing to talk about today. All right, well, I'm gonna head inside, finish my coffee and work on some videos. Mm -hmm. 